Early childhood practitioners have been equipped with tools to assist in efficient management of centers, forming the first point of instruction in the national education system. Coordinated by the Early Childhood Services Unit of the Department of Education, the recently held Small Business Seminar provided lessons on prudent financial practices and national legislation, among other pertinent areas. Describing the role of administrators as critical to national development, Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward affirmed the significance of the sector, noting his sentiments are also shared by Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre. We put a premium on early childhood education and more specifically early childhood development. And when I presented the stats to him in terms of how much of that national early childhood education load that private practitioners are carrying, um, he really couldn't believe it. And it's against that backdrop he decided to make a one-time contribution of $1,500 to every early childhood center. Two, sorry, $2,500. Private institutions form over 70% of the national complement of early childhood development centers. Further work to ensure a standardized approach to early childhood education will be executed by the Ministry of Education. Following previous action to improve the incorporation of ICT in schools island-wide, the Education Minister says special attention is being paid to the youngest of learners. I have already secured approximately $10,000. Um, that will be distributed to the early childhood centers in my constituency. But I believe if I have to stand anywhere nationally and make a pitch for better early childhood education, it must start with me. Addressing school administrators, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, touted their work as aiding in developing minds which embrace learning. It's critical to recognize and celebrate the immense value of your contribution. You help children develop critical thinking skills, language proficiency, and a strong sense of curiosity. You lay the groundwork for lifelong learning and the success of our children. Reflecting on the day's program, Chief Education Officer Beverly Diodoni described effective financial management as fundamental to the sustainability of businesses. Participants commended the initiative taken to provide support significant to the success of their operation. It's very educational, inspiring, and I would say it gave me many things to think about and little things that I have not put in place or I should improve. I need to work on that. Presentations forming part of the one-day session were facilitated in collaboration with public and private sector agencies. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.